I was thinking after you get in there, you should cut a promo rather than get into a fight with anyone. Less risk of injury that way, right? If we want to make a real impact tonight, we can't just sit there in our seats or cut a promo. We need to get physical with someone. I was thinking after you get... If we want to make a real impact... I thought you should just cut a promo tonight to promote BCW, but it sounds like you and Cole have other plans. Next week's show is one you don't want to miss as Velveteen Dream takes on Adam Cole and what is sure to be... Uh, so, wait, sorry to interrupt, Michael, but something's going on in the crowd. Wait, wait I recognize those two. Isn't that... Hey, 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 don't give them the attention they want by saying their names. Wait, where are these guys going? They can't do this. Oh, no. What are they doing? Why? What is happening around here?
That's right, you got one. Oh, shit. Thank you. <laughs> He's so pissed. Get them out of here, right? It looks now. like these two trespassers Bye. are finally leaving. At least we can get on with the show now. That was awesome! Triple H must be losing it right now. I know. And even better, we're trending. Yeah. Yeah. I know I had my doubts about this, but this kind of attention will really help our next BCW yeah, show. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But before we get there, how are we going to strike next? What do you mean strike next? This wasn't a one-time thing? <laughs> oh, no. You, you're all about the buzz, right? You're all about the buzz? We got to keep this thing going. Yeah, I want to be trending nonstop. <laughs> Triple H, he's going to be ready for us next time, so we can't just buy tickets and walk in like we did tonight, okay? We need a different plan. I have an uncle who owns a costume shop. Our BCW shows were really taking off until Triple H shut down our stream. So, why don't we forget this invasion stuff and just get back to running non-WWE venues? I guess it's because I've worked with Triple H before, and I've seen what happens when someone gets on his bad side. It's not going to end well. <laughs> or maybe you'll be the fool that proves the rule. That's because I just made it up. Do you like it? Bro, your uncle hooked us up. I know. And all he asked is that we plug his costume shop on NXT. It's kind of a weird request, I know, but this stuff's expensive, so I said we'd do it. Uh, okay. I was thinking we'd blend in with the fans better if we dressed up as classic wrestlers. It's a great idea. So who do you want to be? Well, we gotta go with the original invaders, Hall and Nash from the NWO. This is going to be too sweet! to show up at NXT. It appears these fans have gotten a little carried away. After last week, are we sure they're fans? Now, I'm skeptical to say the least. Hey, yo. Come on, let's go. You wanna go? Come on, let's go.
theory confirmed. It's those same two cowards who interrupted the show last week. Come on. Let's go. Destroy them. Finally, some reinforcements have arrived. Yeah, these indie invaders may have gotten more than they bargained for.
I want you to tear them apart. I have no idea how these two survived the authors of Let's pain, go. but hopefully Gargano and Cassius Ono can get the job done. Come on. Come on, Cletus. Come on. Let's go.
Oh, no. Now they're Finish in trouble. Off. The Undisputed Era will put an end to this. Yeah, this is a rare time. I'm actually cheering for the Undisputed Era. No matter what your feelings are with the Undisputed Era, Byron, they represent NXT against these invaders.
You mad, bro? I mean, I guess I would be too if a couple of indie guys infiltrated my show two weeks in a row and then beat up half my roster. Yeah, you guys are real clever, showing up here again in your cute little costumes. Actually, these awesome costumes are courtesy of Don's Costume Shop, Syracuse, New York, dressing you up since 1993. And if you use the promo code MrCQ, you get a 10% off all wrestling costumes. Thanks, Uncle Don. Oh, and to Mom, Dad, Sally, and my dog, Butternuts. Who's a good boy? Who's a good boy? Thank you for supporting me in all of my endeavors. Look at me now! I made the big time, baby! Are you finished? Yeah, man. Anything else you want to plug, or...? BCW? Oh, yeah! You can catch more of the two of us on BCW when Triple H here isn't trying to shut down our shows. Listen, we can stand here and go back and forth, and then you can try to invade again next week in some other not-so-clever way. But I have a different proposal instead. You want to be on NXT so bad, you can come back and have an actual sanctioned match. I just happen to have the perfect opponent for you, Buzz. So what do you say? You got yourself a deal. That's great, because after next week, your life will be changed forever. What do you mean by that? I don't care, as long as it means we'll never have to see these two losers again. The so-called Indie Invaders are back again this week, this time for an official match with Buzz taking on Triple H's hand-picked opponent. I guarantee whoever Triple H chooses will be leaps and bounds above the competition that Buzz has faced on the Indie circuit. Hey, guys. We wanted to make you feel at home, so we got you your very own locker room. What's the matter? Is it too big? <laughs> well, at least we have free toilet paper. It's kind of hard to prepare for my match when I have no idea who I'm facing. I would just be ready for anything. Yeah. I mean, I could be facing Braun Strowman because Triple H had me go against him in my tryout match? Maybe. You okay? You seem kind of distracted. Look, I'm just worried how this is going to turn out. I mean, for all of us. I warned you not to get on Triple H's bad side. Yeah, yeah, but with everybody here, it should be fine, right? I hope you're right. Look, I'm going to go see if I can find us an actual dressing room, okay? His voice was the soundtrack for the biggest matches in squared circle history. And now he... From inside the ring to behind the scenes, you're about to be up to no good with former WWE superstar Hood Benson and his co-host Pete Clark. It's like Buzz can't get away from what happened. I mean, he had a match in Mexico versus El Mago, mm -hmm. which was a great match, but then out comes some idiot wearing the same mask as the <laughs> fan who attacked him outside the WWE arena. And the match is ruined. Yeah, uh, you know, I, I didn't see the match, but this, 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 this kind of stuff happens. Wow. Uh, it's, it's, it's especially in places like Mexico, where the audience is very passionate uh, about wrestling. Okay, I guess. You know, I, I once had a fan in Mexico sneak into my hotel room disguised as a room service guy. <laughs> what? Uh, wow. Yeah. Uh, that's what I'm saying. Did you tip him? Yeah, I, I tipped him right over the balcony. <laughs> oh, man. <laughs> you know, you don't sneak into a wrestler's hotel rooms, people. Bad idea. Very, that's very bad. some <laughs> solid advice, Hood. Uh, by the way, did you see BCW is running their next streaming pay-per-view from the same venue that was once home to Monday Night Raw? Uh, that's a big step up from my 
Tesco parking lot. Yeah, yeah, sure it is. You know, it, it is. And, and, and let's be real. It's it's a it's it's a shot across WWE's bow. Yeah. You know, it's it's no it's it's no coincidence that BCW is running this venue. You feel me? Mm -hmm. They're they they're, they're doing it to send a message to WWE. Well, what do you think that message is? You'd have to ask them. Oh. But but I think at the very least, it's saying, hey, look at us. We not, we might not be in the same ballpark as you yet, but. We're in the tailgating. We're tailgating in the parking lot. <laughs> <laughs> well, it's certainly going to bring BCW to a whole new level, especially with the rumors swirling about the big rematch between Buzz and Cole Quinn. Hey, they better be careful though, you know, yeah. because they might be biting off more than they can they, they 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 can chew. You know, sometimes it's easier being the the mean little guy flying under the radar. Now they're in the spotlight, and they they they've rattled the big dog's chain. I think you just set a record for the number of cliches in one speech. Hey, I'm just calling it like I see it, man. <laughs> another one. Does this studio have a balcony, what? man? Because I'm, I'm about tired of you, man. <laughs> I think you might need the, the Mexican room service guide treatment. Oh, yeah. boy. Okay. Well, thankfully for me, there is no balcony here that I know of. Uh, maybe we should take a quick break to cool things down. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Give me give me some more tea, man. Give me some, some lemonade. You know, I, I think, that's a, I think that, that's a good idea right now. Yeah, I got some. <laughs> 90 proof tea, please, right here. <laughs> Thirsty. His voice was the soundtrack for the biggest matches in squared circle history. And now he breaks down the latest happenings in the world of pro wrestling. Get ready for enticing conversations with legendary wrestling commentator Jack Tice. Baron Blades BCW is certainly pushing its issue with Triple H further when last week BCW wrestlers Buzz and Cole Quinn invaded NXT and made their presence known. This was in response to Triple H recently shutting down the online feed on a BCW pay-per-view for various legal reasons. Now look here, I've seen this type of stuff happen before, and it usually doesn't end well for the guys who are doing the invading. I'm not saying that's always the case. Uh, there's DX's invasion of WCW, which some would say helped turn around the Monday Night Wars in favor of WWE. But that was a much different situation, and more often than not, the little guys who are looking for the rub, if you will, from the bigger company end up getting more than they bargained for. I mean, come on, if Triple H went after BCW just for running a former WWE venue, imagine what he's going to do after these guys jump a barricade and disrupt the NXT broadcast, which we all know is Triple H's baby. See, if I were these guys, I'd stay as far away from Orlando as I could from now on. You made your point. You got some more buzz, pun intended. Now better back off before you do any major damage to your futures, which, to be honest, they may have already done. In any event, I'll be watching to see what BCW's next move is, just like all of you, and I just hope it's a smart one. Hey, no matter what happens, I got your back tonight. I just have a strange feeling that Triple H is going to try to pull something over on you. He is the cerebral assassin, after all. He said this match would change your life forever. But what does that mean? Maybe it was some kind of clue. I guess when you win the lottery, it changes your life forever. People who win the lottery are millionaires. Maybe your opponent is the Million Dollar Man, Ted DiBiase! Alright, well, I'll keep thinking on it. There's a feeling of tension in the air as Buzz is about to find out the identity of his opponent. Sorry, Buzz. I'm not your opponent tonight. But I did personally select him. You see, I did a little digging these past couple of weeks and I was able to track down the person who cost you your shot at WWE. And that's who you're facing tonight. Come on out. 
No, it can't be. Who would have imagined? <laughs> Leave it to the cerebral assassin to pull off something like this. <laughs> I love it. To bring our audience up to speed, Buzz had a WWE contract, but an altercation with his mass fan forced Triple H to rescind that contract. Guys, Buzz is in absolute shock. Well, he better snap out of it or he's gonna get beat up by this fan a second time. Underway, and in this one, I wouldn't predict what's going to happen. I'd just be ready for anything. Sometimes that's all you can do. Aside from Saxton's commentary, this has all the makings of an epic match. Not uh -oh. the arm. He's inflicting some serious pain here. Offense like this is exactly how a competitor takes control of a match. You have to possess a different type of focus to punish an opponent like this. One arm hooked. And there's a kick. He looks a bit off his game here. But we all know that he isn't afraid of a good fight, which is what we're seeing here. He just has to make sure this doesn't get too out of hand for him. Sometimes, momentum has a way of permanently swinging one way. That's what he wants to avoid it. He seemed more motivated than ever heading into this match, which makes me think he still has plenty of fight left in him. And he lands the slam. There's the chop. He's not looking good here. He'll need to find a way to turn things around here. I'd never count this guy out, but I'll tell you what. He's not looking so hot right now. He's really going to need to find a way to get back in this thing. He lands the punch. Forearm right to the jaw. He's not looking like himself here. Well, he knew this was going to be a fight heading into this one. Well, he had to expect to take some punishment tonight. You don't step in the ring with this guy and walk away completely unscathed. And knowing him the way I do, I'm willing to bet he thought he was going to get through this match unscathed. But that obviously is not the case here. Perfectly executed. It's got to be over now. Oh, Corey, he unloaded there. Plenty of force behind that shot. And he's a big time drop kick. He's just playing classic offense here. He's on the defensive now. Guys, he's going to have to turn things around quickly if he wants to win this thing. At this point, they both look to be about evenly matched. Maybe I'd give him an edge, but not by much. One move after the other. It's devastating. I don't know how much more of this he can take. Things are... He could do it here. Buzz with the easy kick out. I am in shock. What's it going to take to keep this guy down? Now hooking him up. Dodges a bullet there.
Buzz is desperately trying to find out the identity of the masked attacker. And there's just as much desperation on the masked attacker's part to hide their identity from Buzz. Lands a quick punch. here. This one is over. There's no coming back from that. He's getting roughed up pretty bad here. He may very well be running on instinct right now. And yeah, things look bleak right now. Let's remember though, guys, his opponent doesn't seem to be in great shape either. Cutter! Just when you thought he had nothing left. That's one of those moves where you check your shoulders on the mat. One, two, three! There's the pinfall and the victory. We got our money's worth with that one. Take a look. This entire match was just one big highlight reel, and I didn't expect anything else. It looks like he finally might find out who cost him his WWE contract. That's, that's Baron Blade, the owner of BCW. I'm sorry, but I can explain. I attacked you after your WWE tryout because I didn't want to lose you. Without you, BCW wouldn't last. But more importantly, I didn't want to lose my protege. You're like a son to me. And I know after you lost your dad, I was like a father to you. Don't you ever mention my father again. Please try to understand. I know I messed up, but I had good intentions. Good intentions? You cost me my dream. I trusted you with everything. My safety, my career, my entire life. This is why I didn't want to invade NXT. I knew Triple H would use this to drive us apart. No, Triple H didn't drive us apart. You drove us apart. I never want to see you or talk to you again. We are done. Wait, just please forgive me. Go ahead, hit me if it makes you feel better. I deserve it. You're not worth it. <laughs> I told you, this match would change your life forever. I swear, I had no idea about Baron. I'm just as shocked as you are. Just want to get out of here. What's the big hurry, Buzz? Don't you want to stay? Have some catering? I mean, it might be a good idea. Who knows where your next meal is going to be coming from after I just tore your little indie fed to pieces. I'm not hungry. We're not finished here. You guys thought you were so cute playing Invasion, but I have eyes and ears everywhere. And the moment they informed me Baron was the masked man that attacked you, I could not wait to light the fuse and watch everything blow up in your faces. You know, it took a bit of convincing to get Baron to do the match. I told him that I'd keep his secret, but I was going to expose him either way. So take your stuff, take your little buddy here, and go back to your rundown van and your rundown lives. Oh, wait. There's one more thing you might want to know. I bought your contract from Baron, which means I have control over you now. So you can also consider tonight your retirement match, because as long as I am alive, you will never step foot in a ring again. Now we're finished.
Hey guys, hold on a second. Yeah, we couldn't help overhear all that, and we have a different plan in mind. This doesn't concern you. Actually, it does. Yeah, as respective GMs of Raw and SmackDown, our job is to find the very best talent for our shows. And from what we've seen the past few weeks, and from his run on the indies, this man doesn't deserve to be sent off into early retirement. He deserves to be on the main roster. It'd be a waste to have him under contract sitting on the sidelines. You can stop right there. I've made my decision. Aren't you always using the phrase, what's best for business? He does always say that, Daniel. So, wouldn't putting your personal issues with a talent aside in order to make SmackDown... Or Raw. ...the best show possible be the exact definition for what's best for business? Fine. He's your problem now. You might have been bailed out this time, but I will never forget what you did. So what's it gonna be? I think you'd be right at home on Team Blue. Or you could be a part of WWE's flagship show, Monday Night Raw. Uh, <laughs> this has been an emotional night and uh, uh, this is a lot to take in, but if I have to make a decision right now, I've gotta go where I think I have the best opportunity to showcase my wrestling style and that's on SmackDown. Yes! 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 Hear that? There's a buzz on SmackDown. <laughs> Congrats, man. I don't agree with your decision, but I respect it. And if I've learned anything in my career, it's never say never. So who knows? Maybe you end up competing on Raw someday. In the meantime, good luck. Thank you. Buzz is now headed for SmackDown Unbelievable. Live! Unbelievable.